Well, hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, you can see that I am working with the Vever all in one diesel heater. Now, what this video is about is I want to show you not only that you can use it off of a solar generator like what I'm doing here. This is a portable power station and it will run this unit just fine. But more importantly, what I'm really looking at is the wattage that it takes to run this unit. Now I've got this unit already started and it's on the highest setting and at the most I'm pulling about 45 watts. Now that wattage does not include the startup watts that it takes to get the glow plug hot enough to get this thing fired up. If we look at this 12 volt output right here, this is only 10 amps of output at 12 volts. That's not enough to fire up this unit. So this brick that I use, it's 12 volt at 15 amps. And that's sufficient, that's plenty to get this thing fired up. This draws about 150 watts to get that glow plug started. So again, on the hottest setting after the unit started, the max that I've seen is about 45 watts, which is fantastic, that's nothing. That means that this unit could run for a long period of time off of that solar generator. So if you're in an off-grid situation, or if you're gonna be running like a 100 watt solar panel to this unit, using the pass-through charging, you're gonna be bringing in more solar than you're using, even running this thing at max. So now if I turn it down to the lowest setting, oops, this button here, let's turn it down to H1, which is the lowest setting. I had it on H6. When we go down to H1, we're gonna notice that these watts go down from the 40s down to the 20s. In fact, I saw it drop down to 18 watts at one point. Now, if I push both buttons on the side, you'll see this little blue Alpine thing will light up. And that's what that does is that slows down the pump even slower to consume less diesel fuel and already we're at 21 watts and again the lowest I saw on the lowest setting in Alpine or even just the lowest setting in general it was 18 watts we just hit 20 so it's not uncommon to see 19 there we go 19 and even at the lowest of 18 basically what that wattage is right now that we're seeing is it's me running the fan off of this unit and the pump there's 17 watts that's crazy jump back up to 20 but again the reason i use this power brick this is a ac to dc converter so this goes from 100 volt all the way up to 240 volt input and the output is 12 volt at 15 amps and that's plenty of power to run this unit right now you can see we're pulling 19 watts so on the lowest setting I can run this thing for a long time and again if I'm running a solar panel outside using pass-through charging this is, I'm not gonna run out of power, even if it's like, if I got a 100 watt panel, cloudy day, I'm still gonna probably be getting 20, 30, 40, 50 watts out of a 100 watt panel. So I don't see this thing getting drawn down at all. I can still charge my phones, still do all the things that I need to, and no problems. So folks, I wanna say thank you for joining me today on this video using the Vever all-in-one diesel heater and the X-Star 
500 watt system this is 678 watt hours don't get that confused that's not 678 watts of power this is a 500 watt unit but hopefully you enjoyed seeing these numbers and the fact that we can do it I hope you got some good useful information out of this video please feel free to thumb up this video leave comments down below and until next time I hope you guys have a beautiful day We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.